Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that perfect start right now. Oh, perfect. Yes, we are. Um, as I told the boys, I said we are about to go and be poor. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know, but I'm assuming. I'm assuming that the tax season is going to be very unkind to us this year because we sold a house and we had only lived in that house for like under two years. So we knew going into buying this other house that no matter what our circumstances were, they were going to look, they were going to look at us like we flip houses. So it's our job. So, well, we're done with our taxes getting a little bit back we're getting a little bit we aren't we don't know we aren't completely poor i mean we're only a little poor <laughs> thank you one thing i never tell you about selling a home right well selling a house after you've lived there for just under two years yeah if you live in the, if you live there for less than two years it's an issue apparently yes so advice and I like how she told us. Live in a house for two years yeah, and then move. Before you decide to sell it. <laughs> yeah, and I love how the tax lady tells us, oh, you should have waited longer. I'm like, we were told the day we were signing. <laughs> yeah, we weren't. We we didn't know. If they had told us ahead of time, we would have thought about it. Yeah. Anyway, um, so, funny story. I mean, I think it's funny. I'm sure everyone else thinks it's extremely annoying. And I do apologize. And I've already apologized oh, several apology? times for how what I did during the tax session. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, there's idle time where you're just sitting there. And so I was, I mean, I was getting messages. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to field these messages. I did stuff. not have idle time. I was looking at numbers. <laughs> I, I had idle time because I'm the second signer, you know. And so I was fielding my communication and yeah. something came in from the agency and Julian Julian was cast in his first feature film as one of the leading roles <laughs> and so I that was your point of view <laughs> my point of view is I'm looking at numbers going oh man we're gonna oh and then she squeezes my arm with the look in her face I'm like what <laughs> He got it. He got what? What is he sick? What does he got? What does he got? <laughs> I know. He got the part. Oh my gosh. And and so Yeah, I'm sorry. I've already apologized was, many times, but I'm like best. He got it. Who got what? He what got what? The stomach flu? Yeah, who got it and what? What because, is it? Oh, cuz that's another thing. <laughs> Apparently some what Wow, the lights aren't working. Wow. Oh, okay. Um somebody that is in my chorus and was at rehearsal on Tuesday night, and I spoke to one -on -one. this person one on one with no mask on. Has a stomach flu, so I may or may not be a ticking time bomb right now. And so I'm, now I'm going to be sitting now this, here. Now that conversation makes more sense. He got it. <laughs> what? Who? What? Yeah, because Julian was at choir and my dad was at choir, and so we were talking about oh, who could possibly get that? And so I'm sure. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Yay, math. We are using coordinates in proofs. Oh, this is the second lesson. So, you know, this is where we're actually using coordinates, like, but they're not actual numbers. They're just letters. So, um, it's, it's tedious. I personally would rather have numbers course I say that now we're gonna have numbers and then it's the answers are gonna be like the square root of 2.957 or something so um yeah yeah this is really easy since it's a square it's it's just the same answer twice yeah it's it's not hard but it looks really hard it's literally just a over because the formulas are very long 
and I remember, I told Julian, I remember I, doing I, this, I, and I pushed the wrong button. but I don't remember. Oh, did you push the wrong I answer? The wrong button. Oh, well, but I remember doing this, but I remember knowing how to do it just so I could pass the test, basically. And I didn't do bad in geometry. I just knew I was never really going to use it ever in my life, and Julian feels the same way because he probably won't use it. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So I'm just taking a moment. <clears throat> it's been a very um, exciting day. <laughs> uh, every once in a while, the boys will get a an audition request that takes my breath away <laughs> um and I know that I mean we never like get our hopes up especially for these particular ones um but Gabriel has received one of those as of you know less than an hour ago and um it required me to go and have a meeting with Horatio and discuss the what if he gets this and can we do this and it would it would uh it would involve me being displaced for a very long time with him um every once in a while these types of auditions do come in um and the more the boys do things, the more tangible they seem, I guess, because more people know who they are now. Um, so I guess it makes me, I mean, excited isn't really the right word. It's almost like scared, not, but not scared. It's like anticipation or something. So that's how I'm feeling right now um, because if he were to be called back for this, then it would actually mean that we would be going, we'd be flying somewhere and, um, and he might not. That's the thing. Like I have everything in my mind, like, okay, well, if this happens, then this happens. And if this happens, then that happens. And if, and I'll have to contact this person and we would have to find somewhere to live and we would have to, you know, like all of these things. So, um, every once in a while, an audition like this will come in. So, of all the days, today is the day that that audition came in. And now I get to ponder that. Oh my gosh, I just found out that I won the lottery again for the play that goes wrong tomorrow night. <laughs> so... Somebody else could go see the play. <laughs> I'm back home. We went to church. Um, I sang. I We actually, the choir sang um, John Rudder's Requiem. And it was, it was really lovely. We even had a cellist play. And actually the, the principal cellist of the local symphony. So she was really good. <laughs> um, and it was well received. Everybody enjoyed it so um i've always wanted to sing that piece so now i can check it off um i'd do it again it's such a beautiful piece um but now i am home and i'm making um taco meat and tortillas and people are going to eat late <laughs> now we're taking a walk although he's threatening to make me run i don't know how i feel about that Final clip. So we had a nice walk and talk. And now we're here and it's super late and the boys are reading and um, tomorrow is Good Friday. Um, but at our church, we don't have like a formal church service. They do the, the Monday Thursday service. Um, Julian 
and my parents have a rehearsal in the afternoon for the Saturday church service. And then we're going to go, me and mom and Julian are going to go up to Chicago to see the play that goes wrong. And we're meeting our friend Rick. And I'm very excited about that because it is hilarious. So until tomorrow. Until tomorrow.